the physiological processes responsible for maintaining homeostasis are also responsible for your good health the many factors in this homeostatic balance called health include the following the environment and your own behavior your genetic makeup the air you breathe the food you eat and even the thoughts you think all these are factors that are responsible for maintaining homeostatic balance inside human body so what is the final outcome of homeostatic processes an organism is in homeostasis in case of any change either internal change or external change there is loss of homeostasis in that organism as a result of this loss this organism attempts to compensate this change if the compensation fails then it results in illness or disease but if that organism succeeds in that compensation then it results in wellness now what is homeostatic imbalance homeostatic imbalance occurs when cells in the body experience a deficiency such as nutritional deficiencies resulting from an unhealthy diet or when cells are exposed to toxins as a result one or more components of the body lose their ability to contribute to homeostasis so the normal balance among all the body's processes may be disturbed if the homeostatic imbalance is moderate then a disorder or a disease may occur but if it is severe death may result a disorder is any abnormality of structure or function while disease is a more specific term for an illness this disease can be local or systemic a local disease affects one part or a limited region of the body for example a sinus infection whereas a systemic disease affects either the entire body or several parts of it for example influenza many diseases are the result of years of poor health behavior that interferes with the body's natural drive to maintain homeostasis an obvious example is smoking related illness so as long as all of the body's controlled conditions remain within certain narrow limits body cells function efficiently as a result homeostasis is maintained and the body stays healthy diseases alter body structures and functions in a characteristic ways it is characterized by a recognizable set of signs and symptoms a person with a disease may experience symptoms which are subjective changes in body functions that are not apparent to an observer examples of symptoms are headache nausea and anxiety objective changes that a physician can observe and measure are called signs signs of disease can be either anatomical such as swelling or rash or these signs can be physiological such as fever high blood pressure or paralysis